And when the lightning flashes again, it's standing directly at the window. Today's Night Terrors episode is called Close Encounters of the Wrong Kind. So this story comes to us from the east side of the great state of Texas. A couple owns a property and it's a countryside home out in the middle of a heavily wooded area, a nice two-story house with a picket fence surrounding the yard and home. The husband, he works the graveyard shift and this often leaves the wife home alone at night. So one evening, the husband's working And the wife finishes up dinner and she looks out the window and notices that there's a storm rolling in quite rapidly. And the lightning is terrible and frequent. So she goes to the living room window to take a better look and make sure that the lightning isn't catching anything on fire as they do live in a heavily wooded area. As she's looking out the window, she notices that there is a tree smoking. She leans closer to get a better look and make sure that it's not catching the other trees on fire. As she's looking, she notices that there's something standing beside the tree, something tall and hairy. Now she can only see it when the lightning flashes and lights it up. So she's staring intently, trying to make out what it is. And the only description she has is that it's hairy and humanoid. She's staring at this creature every time the lightning flashes. So when the lightning flashes again and she's staring, the creature is gone. So at this point, she leans even closer and she's trying to figure out where the creature went and she's waiting, terrified as the lightning flashes. Only when the lightning flashes this time, it's moved to the fence by the gate and it's looking directly at her. She can't really make out any features, but she can tell that it's looking at her. She's terrified, frozen in place. It seems to take hours for the next round of lightning to hit so that she can see where the creature is. However, it was only really a few seconds before it flashed again and the creature was gone. She looked all around the yard, trying vainly to find this creature. But as the light flashed, she saw no sign of it. She leans back, perplexed and a little terrified. And when the lightning flashes again, it's standing directly at the window. As soon as they make eye contact, the creature starts screaming loud and high pitched. She immediately scrambles back from the window and it starts clawing at the window, ripping up the screen, trying to get into the house. She runs into the other room and picks up the phone. She calls the sheriff. All the while, this thing is screaming and trying to get into the house. She calls the sheriff and tells them that this is a very urgent situation and it's an emergency. They need help right away. She inches back into the other room and she sees that the creature is gone. It seems to take ages before the sheriff finally shows up. When the sheriff shows up, he notices that the screen is ripped to shreds and there are deep scratches and grooves in the window pane. They do find strange tracks, but they can't really make them out as it's raining so hard at that point that the tracks are distorted and faded. The witness said that they did not have any incidents before or after this experience. So what do you think the creature was? Drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you want even more night terrors, you can sign up for a Nightcrawlers membership on my Buy Me a Coffee website, and you'll get an extra night terrors every week. Also, you get to join into secret sneak peek stuff that I have going on on Nightcrawlers, as well as two extra Nightcrawlers interviews a month. So instead of a live video every other week that I do an interview guest, you'll also get a pre-recorded interview 
that is only released to members and an exclusive Zoom chat interview with the guest where you can talk to the guest and interact in the chat with the other members. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact me. You can go check it out on Buy Me a Coffee and it gives all the details there. Or again, just reach out to me if you have any questions. That's all for this one. Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Night Terrors. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button and drop a comment below. And don't forget to click the link in the description to send in your encounter story to be featured on an episode of Night Terrors. Also, you can see what else is going on in the Nightcaller's world. Thank you, everybody.